Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does comedy music, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here. And that's why I'm reacting to these songs in particular, because the Logan Awards have been announced for this year. If there are those of you who don't know, the Logan Awards are the Comedy Music Awards. I am the chairperson of the Logan Awards. And uh, this year, uh, we have three nominees in three different categories that I'm not familiar with. So I'll be checking them out here on the show. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan. And what that means to you when I react, it means I'm going to pause the videos. Kind of often, actually. Mostly so that I'm not talking over the jokes in my reaction, but also so that I can discuss the song, how it works with the video, how the, the video and the lyrics complement each other or not, or how uh, sometimes how the jokes are... are structured or sometimes what the jokes even mean because people always love it when I describe a joke and uh, you know kind of dissect it that way and sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off it's a crapshoot whatever you're gonna get but I think it's a good time either way this week we are reacting to as I said three songs in the outstanding original comedy song category we have give up by Philip Labes in the outstanding parody song category, we have the Baby Yoda song, a.k.a. Gaston in the Ahsoka Mandalorian style by Whitney Avalon. And in the outstanding comedy music video category, we have the Pikachu song by Random Encounters. Uh, if you do like this sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and videos early, and all sorts of other cool things like that there. But anyway, without any further ado, let us dive into these videos. Like I said, the first one is Give Up by Philip Labes. I am not familiar with this artist at all. I don't know if even uh, Philip does primarily comedy music. I know that this song was nominated, and... Uh, you know, uh, the jurors uh, all agreed that this is a good comedic song, so uh, I'm anxious to check this one out. Uh, I know that Philip has done uh, albums based on seasons, summer, spring, f uh, winter, and autumn, uh, and I don't know which one this one is from, but I think throughout all of last year or the previous year, it, uh, last year, obviously, because this is nominated for the 2022, that would make sense, it came out last year. Uh, that was with the, the nomination for that. So, let's dive in. Full studio work here. When they're younger, many parents tell their kids that they can be the president or an astronaut or an actor on TV. Goals. But no one ever tells a child what they cannot be. So it seems that the responsibility has come to me. <laughs> Life is just a compromise. It's better for you. Achieve a smaller dream, so look inside yourself. Why do you want the big career and all that fancy stuff? Give up, give up, give up, give up, give up. <laughs> Number one, uh, I appreciate that this is just a very simple video in that it's just the studio session of recording the song with with full band. Uh, so props for having a full band uh, for this kind of endeavor. Uh, again, wasn't familiar with Philip's work before this, uh, so uh, seeing a full production here um, is excellent, and just a video documenting the recording of the song is great. There are people who, who will tell you uh, to not follow your dreams and to, to uh, give up, and we don't like those people. But I'm, you know, I, I hear horror stories of people saying, yeah, my teacher always said I wasn't going to do this, so I, I did it to spite them. And that's good. Succeeding because of spite is always absolutely valid. 
Uh, we 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 stand the, those uh, who do that. I think Lady Gaga did that. Her her teacher said you'd never be a success, and so Lady Gaga is now like Oscar nominated and Grammy award winning, and yeah, you know, show those people who say you shouldn't. But yes, this is hilarious. The moment you stop working out, the fat will start to creep. You can never smoke a cigarette and still die in your sleep. <laughs> so you don't have to. Make oh, that's 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 rough. You, you can never smoke a cigarette, yet you'll still you might still die in your sleep. Oh, let's let's go back here a little bit. Stop working out. Up, give up. The moment you stop working out, the fat will start. To the moment you stop working out, the fat will start to creep. I'm living proof of that. I like food. You can never smoke a cigarette and still die in your sleep. So you don't have to make the bed you're getting back into. Because <laughs> life tends towards chaos and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> life tends to... Lean towards chaos? Is that what he said? Cause life tends towards chaos. Life tends towards chaos. Okay, yeah. You're, why make the bed if you're gonna get back into it at night? Uh, uh, simple things we all keep in mind. Yes. Why, why do anything? Just give up. It's not true, but it is funny. Sure, he's a comedian, but being single sucks. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Sure, he's a comedian, but being single sucks. Sure, he's a comedian, but being single sucks. <laughs> wow. Okay, so maybe Philip is a comedian. I'm, I'm not sure here. Maybe that line is self-referential. Not sure. But uh, it's a good line, nevertheless. This is very, very good. This is very funny. Rom-coms are a bunch of lies, so bring your standards down. Is such a great line. I love the big band sound with this. Like, the horn section is great. It's it's just phenomenal. Think of what's awaiting you a couple years down the line. A bunch of emptiness at the success you didn't find. Think of how much happier you would be at that time if you never ever failed because you didn't even try. <laughs> you never ever failed because you didn't even try. It, yeah, that's a glorious feeling. I, 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 I haven't failed, but I also haven't tried. You, you uh, miss 100% of the shots you don't make. Logic. It's so jaunty. That's the other thing. It's such a peppy song about giving up. And that's one of the things that I love about comedy music is the dichotomy between subject matter and presentation. Weird Al does this expertly in a lot of his songs, and I hate to always reference back to Weird Al, but he's kind of the the, the benchmark that a lot of comedy musicians strive towards because uh, he's the most well-known. But yes, there is a lot of, of dichotomy between you know, such a serious, uh, upsetting sometimes, or or downputting subject matter. Give up. Telling people to give up. That's not a positive thing sometimes. But being presented as a positive thing, being presented with this uppy, uh, up tempo, big band song. Uppy, up tempo is the thing I was trying to say, but I said uppy for some reason. This up tempo, big band song. The dichotomy between the two disparate subjects is phenomenal, and I love that kind of thing in comedy music. It's really the only place you can find something like that, other than uh, the uh, uh, pumped-up kicks, <laughs> which, you know, 
that sometimes you find it in pop music, I, I realize as I say. All right. Man, full orchestration. Life is just a compromise, but we don't want to see. We write ourselves the movie script of how our lives should be. It's true. You're reaching out for happiness when what's inside's enough. Give up, give up, give up, give up, give up. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I can see why that song is a nominee for Outstanding Original Comedy Song this year at the Logan Awards. By the way, if you want to see all of the nominations uh, in all three categories, go to loganawards.com and check out the nominees there. The awards ceremony will be held at Fumpfest at Con and the Cobb this October. Uh, I will be hosting, of course. I'm hosting the entire weekend of Fump Fest, as what I usually do. I'm the MC at the event, but I'm also performing there. So if you want to see me live, that'll be in Richfield, Ohio, the weekend of October 5th to the 8th. The 7th is when the Logan Awards are. Anyway, back into these reactions. Our next song is called Gaston, in Ahsoka Mandalorian style, a.k.a. The Baby Yoda song by our friend Whitney Avalon. We've reacted to Whitney Avalon a few times here on the show. She does the uh, Princess Rap Battles and other various songs. Uh, actually did a song that was nominated uh, that I reacted to called WTF 2020. Uh, and then she did a sequel to that with Thomas Lennon from uh, The State and Viva Variety and of course Reno 911. Uh, called WTF 2020s, which I have yet to see and probably should check out because I'm a big fan of both Whitney and Thomas Lennon. Uh, but this is a different song. This is instead uh, the guest on thing I said. See? Grogu and I can feel each other's thoughts. Grogu? Yes. That's his name. I forgot. I forgot. Because I watched Mandalorian. I forgot that Ahsoka revealed to Din Djarin that Baby Yoda's vo name was Grogu. Because Baby Yoda doesn't really say words. Just kind of makes noises. Baby noises. Even though he's 50. Um... The, that species ages differently, obviously. Uh, so I forgot that detail, and glad this song reminded me now of that. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Grogu. Emotions confused and entwined. Ah, uh, Disney. I wish it were easy to free you, Grogu, from all of the fears in your mind. There's no little guy as resilient as you. Your aptitude surely could be. I, there's really something about the way that Whitney parodies Disney songs, and it's a it's a, a thing that she does kind of often, uh, and singing songs that were familiar for Disney characters in the style of other characters. Um, there's just this aptitude she has with her writing to make it seem like the original song's lyrics, just a different version, uh, and uh, it sounds very similar to the way that they're written uh, originally. It's great stuff. Someday there'll be no one as brilliant as you, or you might choose to stay with a man No one's cute like Rogu, mostly mute like Rogu. <laughs> mostly mute like Rogu, that's what I was saying before. <laughs> Only comes to the top of your boot like Rogu, though you're currently a neutral player. Perfect up your Padawan. Alliteration. We love alliteration. Says Insane Ian. Once you're trained by a cow mace or Leia, we'd soon see which side you would prove to be on. Ah. Wow. Mentioning Cal Kestis in this song. That's that's neat. Cal Kestis is the character 
uh, from the uh, Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor video games. So, uh, throwing that one in there. Cal, Mace, or Leia, Mace Windu, of course, the Samuel L. Jackson one, because uh, this... I, no, this takes place uh, in the middle of the original trilogy, I think. I think that's when The Mandalorian takes place. I don't remember. There's too many of them now, and I can't keep track of everything. On. No one brawls like Rogu sells out dolls. <laughs> loves to levitate your shiny balls like Rogu. She means the, the topper of the gear shift in the ship, not, not his armored testicles. That I just want to make that clarification, but that's a great joke, is all I'm saying. See? Explaining jokes is fun. I'm not singing. I don't like participating. Great! Concentrate on Grogu. <laughs> Two seasons down. How many more? Grogu is the star people are watching for. Ahsoka uh, series starts soon. But the guest appearance was really cool. I like how they've basically turned uh, the Mandalorian into uh, Dave Filoni finishing Clone Wars and Rebels. That's cool. No one tries like Rogu has huge eyes like Rogu. No one's blood is a soft after prize like Rogu. Fantastic rhymes in this little couplet. Actually, in every one of these. These have been phenomenal. Though it's truly a pleasure to meet ya. You've potential like I've rarely seen. I am not the right person to teach ya. By all definitions, you're currently green. Brilliant. You're currently green. As in green as in a newbie, but also green because Grogu is the color green. Get it is the next line. Here's here's the thing. There, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm not the one to teach you. That is almost Tom Lehrer level rhyme right there. That's so good. Get it? <laughs> when I looked away, he ate four froggy eggs. Brilliant. Quickly condemned and chastised. But later, I think he ate five froggy eggs, though at least they were unfertilized. Oof. No one <laughs> snacks like Rogu, has our backs like Rogu, will force choke anyone who attacks like Rogu. It's strong in the young Padawan. I think that species is just force sensitive to begin with, so. I never thought I'd have to babysit, but this is the way. He's my foundling, my spray, <laughs> till he's safe and we've won. He's my child, my son. This is the way, it's his foundling. Brilliant. The lone wolf and his cub. <laughs> the lone wolf and his cub, a lot of people were saying, especially the first season of The Mandalorian, was very reminiscent of the manga series Lone Wolf and Cub. So to have that be a line here, brilliant. Bravo. Good stuff. Until he's safe and we've won, he's my child, my son. The lone wolf and his cub finding joy and yum nub. <laughs> finding joy and yub nub, the song that they sing at the end of Return of the Jedi, the Ewoks all sing. Uh, that's so good. The lone wolf and his cub finding joy and yum nub. So though I have to bid you adieu, there's no need to be glum. Let's see what he will be. And his name's G R O G R O O T. No, wait. G R O G, you're real soon. I'm still gonna call him Kid. <laughs> wow, some phenomenal singing, and also the whole Grogu, baby Grogu, and baby Groot, because both of them were Disney products that were adorable and sold a lot of toys. Brilliant, brilliant correlation there. That's so funny. Wow. Come to a cameo on my show. <laughs> Considering how Mando showed up in Book of Boba Fett, I, I don't see why there wouldn't be crossover. 
I mean, Mandalorian is basically turning into, uh, oh, I can't remember the character's name, uh, uh, Starbucks character, <laughs> and I call her Starbuck, and that's not her name. Uh, she played Starbuck, and she voices the character in the cartoon, and is playing her in the live-action show. You know what I'm talking about if you're a fan, and if you don't, this is all gobbledygook. This was fantastic. This is a great reference to the show. This is a great song, as if Disney decided to make Mandalorian a musical. Whitney's great at that. Her vocals, of course, are always incredible. She's a phenomenal singer, and whoever is playing uh, Mando in this is also really, really good. So this is fantastic. And the puppeteering is, is also great. So, Mandalorian, voice was Evan Gregory, on screen was David Odom, and the puppeteer for Grogu was Danny Montooth. Uh, so yes, that was Bravo. Whitney did the lyrics, of course, based on the original by Mankin and Ashman. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. All of her videos are huge productions, uh, so if you're not uh, watching Whitney Avalon's stuff, please go check that out. Uh, and finally, we have the Pikachu song, an original song by Random Encounters. Uh, this is one that I've been meaning to check out myself, and this was nominated for Outstanding Comedy Music Video. So this one, more uh, than the previous two, uh, is nominated specifically for its music video component. Uh, and uh, is one of the longer videos of the, uh, the three videos we've watched. And yet we're 20 minutes in, because I talk a lot. Hooray! Ooh, it's animated. Somewhere near Pallet Town. Just as a side note before this really gets into it, we have a couple animated music videos that are nominated for Outstanding Comedy Music Video this year. I can think of at least three. Um, I don't think all five of them are animated, but at least three of them are. Jeez. Now, I, now I'm going to check, because that's exactly what you want to see here. Uh, Logan Awards. Let's see. Looking at the nominees. Okay, no. There are two live-action videos. Uh, one of those I knew was live-action, I forgot. Uh, so there are two live-action videos and three animated videos. That's pretty incredible, honestly. Anyway. <laughs> you know, there are predators in the Pokémon world. I will admit, again, this is something I've said before, I may miss some things here because I'm not as into Pokémon as I am other things, so... This might be just above my pop culture radar. Um, I do know some things through, of course, pop culture osmosis, but I may not get everything. Pikachu, Pikachu, I'm your loyal electric chew. Oh, yes, Terry, Terry's <laughs> Harry, here's a pokey next for you. A loyal electric shrew. A shrew is a, a type of rat, so he is the electric mouse, electric rat works along the side of that. Okay, I'm over-explaining jokes now. That's fun. Uh, Chew, Pikachu, I'm your loyal electric Chew. Oh, he's scary, Gary's scary. Here's a punky next for you. Pika this, Pika that. I am wearing Ash's hat. Plus, the speed is all I need so I can beat up this go bat. The XP is just for me. I'm not wobbling quick for speed. Not just kidding, you would need a thunderstone. This is so fast, and, uh, yes, okay. Uh, fighting, press B so I can evolve. No, wait, no, you need an actual thing to have the evolution take place. I'm learning things about Pokemon with this. Just rapidly and in song. If you try to make me write you, I will fight you. Great rhyme, and uh, that reminds me of another Pokemon comedy song. Write you a song by uh, Nuclear Bubble Rap, which I think I've mentioned before when talking about Lou Burger's. Uh, Pokemon love song. I need to plug the camera in because the battery is going to die. So while I'm talking about this, I'll be not looking at the camera. That's professional. Um, uh, basically, write you a song is 
using Pokemon names in a love letter uh, and Pokemon love song is kind of similar. So I kind of maybe will react to those back to back, maybe, perhaps, if there's interest. Uh, anyway, this is already phenomenal and I'm learning things. <laughs> Too bad his team is level 7 and it's stupid. <laughs> Just Pikachu lounging on the, uh, oh god, Magikarps? I think that's what they're called? Yeah. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's so fast. Uh, stealing his wallet after... Can you do that in the Pokemon games? I don't think so. Uh, run through the grass to find a flaming ass. Seriously, guys, I'm a horse. That's phenomenal. Just make jokes with rhymes to whatever. It's fine. Comedy song. <laughs> Missing no. Isn't that like an error that like became a Pokemon or something like that? I don't honestly know. Uh, but yeah, there's the Elite Four I know is the big four you fight at the end. So many things. So many things. The Elite Four is such a bore. Can you hear me with this mic? Missing no, here we go. HM5 is my MO. We can rock. HM5 is my MO. I don't know what that means. HM5 is my modus operandi, my normal mode of operations. Uh, don't know what HM5 is, so... <laughs> Sorry. And in that shot was the original three you can choose from when you start the game for the first time. That much I know. Yeah. I'm a girl, I'm a guy, I can think but I can't die. Speak up, speak up, speak up, I'm a battle cry. <laughs> That's the thing. There, it's it's basically uh, dog fighting the game. Let's be honest, but none of the animals die because it's a kids' game. They just faint, and they can be revived. They don't actually die unless you're playing the Nuzlocke version, uh, which is not like an official thing. But like, if you act as though when they faint they've died, and you can never use that Pokemon again, I know some things. Uh, and, and Pika Pika is what I say, but the buzz sound is my battle cry. <laughs> the buzz sound that the, the game itself makes. That's, that's super deep cut, but very funny. I'm a girl, I'm a guy, I can think but I can't die. Pika Pika, I'm your speaker, but that's my battle cry. Take a walk, take a nap, listen to the Poke Raps. <laughs> listen to the Poke Rap. Either version, the regular version or the Star Bomb version, uh, I personally like the Starbomb version, although, if we're gonna really get into it, I'm a big fan of Pokemon from the Pokemon 2000 movie by Weird Al, and of course, Gotta Catch Em All by the Presidents of the United States of America. You know, my two favorite bands, who've both done songs about Pokemon. That's neat. There's so much going on, going by. Man, the It's a Trap thing being a reference to, to Star Wars, of all things. And I guess the creature that said it is similar to Admiral Akbar in Species, maybe? I don't know. YouTube.com, watch. I guess that's the URL to the Poke Rap or another Random Encounters video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of those was Handsome Squidward, but as Pikachu. Uh, yes, Pokemon Snap, we know. There's the surprise Pikachu. Uh, we, we've reacted to Look at This Pokesnap by Il Neige on this channel before, so yes. This picture is not very good. <laughs> was that supposed to be Ash? Or, or maybe one of the Pokemon Snap 
characters. I don't know that game. Again! Wow, that was all the games at the time, I guess. very good. The Emerald, Sapphire, Black, White, Pearl, I think all of those were in there. It went by super fast. Wow. <laughs> no one's clapping. Except the seal thing. Is it like a Pokemon talent show and there's posters for the Pyroar King? I guess kind of like the Lion King and Marilla the Musical? I don't know what that means. There's a Jigglypuff that's singing, uh, getting ready to, to go out doing the scales. Me. Now it's Pikachu is sad. And there's Ditto, a bunch of Squirtles, more, more Pikachus. Now in fever, meowths <laughs> as a parody of the cat's musical poster. <laughs> That's great. What do you mean you can't make it? We're on in five minutes. Where am I gonna find a new stunt partner this late? <laughs> so the Luchador character, which I know is a, a newer character. I uh, don't know the name of it, but now Pikachu in a Luchador mask. That's the thing we're seeing now. God, I love the internet sometimes. You were close. You only got the tail. That's... That was phenomenal, too. That is a great music video. Very it's funny, very fast. These other guys as well. You can stream the song on all the sites below. <laughs> and if you've got a lot of money and you sum up on this funny, pay our crew, pay our crew, beard salute. <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's take it back and see some of the credits here before. Click subscribe. Pokedex Flinger. Wow, that's uh, apparently just the uh, Patreon people were animated into the video. That's that's uh, or just had different things, different. Uh, jobs given to them that we actually didn't see because there's Poke Flute Tuner. I don't think we actually saw else when he's tuned the flute. I think the Flinger was the Pikachu, uh, but they've been given jobs for this production because of being Patreon baggers. Uh, that's phenomenal. Right, hit the bell, watch these other guys as well. You can stream the song on all the sites below. And if you've got a lot of money and you sum up on this funny, pay our crew, pay our crew, here to loot. Woo! <laughs> pay our crew. This was this was a little reminiscent of Be Our Guest, maybe, a little. Not quite a parody of it, uh, but uh, yeah, that that was absolutely phenomenal. That was really, really funny, uh, really fast, a lot to catch. Probably didn't catch everything, especially since I'm not as familiar with Pokemon, but man, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please, of course, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you want to really help out the channel, like these people over here in my credits, you can join my Patreon like they have and get to see these videos early, get my music and videos early, all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Be sure to check out the nominees and, of course, the live ceremony. And we'll see you next time. Links in the description below to these videos and all of that. Bye. Ram. White House, not exception. This time needs some guys to be up the slime. Stop all evil ninjas. Ninjas have kidnapped.